you already know what it is. It's your boy Laid Back with another reaction, another review, another episode. A hey, Jesse Lee Peterson, you up to bat. It's your boy Laid Back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we got to do. You got to hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water. You already know what it is. Elevate more in 2024. Elevate more in 2024. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Stay up to date with all the videos. We back with another reaction. We got something different. We got Jesse Lee Peterson. Do you love white people in Trump? Blacks in the ghetto. This sound like this gonna be some crazy. <sighs> Let's see what they talking about. Fire squad. What's popping? Let's get it. <laughs> Come on, guys. Come on over. Come on over. <laughs> you ready? Ah, yeah. So let me ask, how old are you? I'm 20. And how about you? 21. And how about you? I'm 15. Uh, 15. Did you vote for President Trump? Nah, fuck Trump. Uh, fuck Trump, <laughs> man. Fuck Donald Trump. He taking our <laughs> he taking our state into a hellhole. By doing how? Because how he taking all the free money and stuff, man. He's taking the free money? Yeah, he's taking he's all our dough, man. taking all the dough, just doing too. dumb shit. What, what free money is he taking? Damn, you asking too much shit. Shit, all the motherfucking <laughs> free money. Fuck Donald Trump, though. <laughs> he said he's taking all the free money, but F Donald Trump, though. I don't respect this president. I don't trust this president. He's not working in the best interest of the American people. His motives and his actions are contemptible. And I will fight every day until he is impeached. Well, you know he about to run again for president. Allegedly. Allegedly. Impeach 45. Impeach 45. Impeach him. He the president. Let him do what he's doing. Did you, you, you don't want him impeached? He the president. And did you vote for President Trump? Nope. Why not? Mm -mm. I wasn't. I didn't even vote for Obama last term. You did not? Mm -mm. Why not? Because I just didn't. Oh, good. And did you, do you like what the president has done this first year? That's who he was. He always was who he is. They vote him in the office, so why is they complaining now? He who he is. Do you believe that he's a racist? He always been a racist. President Trump has always been a racist? Oh, of course. And what proof do you have? Because he's a redneck. He's a redneck? <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, hell no! He said what proof you have is she said because he's a redneck. You can tell he don't like black people. Really? Yeah, you can. So you could just look at him and tell? Yes, of course. Wow, but you have no other proof other than that? Mm-mm. -mm. Do you, do, you, do you believe all white people are racist? No. Just President Trump? Well, the people that around, like his, even his vice president, they want to get him out of there, and then the vice president going to be in there, and he's just as worse as him. How about Hillary Clinton? Do you believe Hillary is a racist? I don't think she's racist, but she's biased. Okay. In what way? Hmm. She used us to get her in the office. She didn't care about us, because if she was, it wouldn't be a lot of homeless people out here on the street. Yeah. I agree to that. Okay. Said, you believe that President Trump hates black people? I believe he do. And only because someone said it, or what did he do to make you think that? Besides not agreeing with Barack Obama. That's it. That's all. That's all? Yeah. Because you didn't agree with though. Barack Obama, you think that he's a racist? Yeah, off top. But Barack is a Democrat. The president is a Republican. And Republicans <laughs> and Democrats don't agree. So does that make them racist? Yeah. That's the rich <laughs> get richer in even Jesse laughed. Look, even Jesse laughed. Oh, agreed. So, does that make them racist? Yeah. That's the rich get richer <laughs> and the poor get poorer. You already done stuck us out here in the poor, so we in the ghetto. He said, really? Uh, let me ask you, do you, you love white people? Do I love white people? Do you love white people? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, these questions he be coming up with is crazy, catching them straight off guard. Look. We're in the poor, so we in the ghetto. Let me ask uh, you let a me question. Ask, do you you love white people? Do I love white people? Do you love white people? Well, I ain't. <laughs> How old are you? Nineteen. Nineteen. And what does it take to get a free Obama phone? Um, a, a EBT card or a Medi-Cal card? Both. And why do you have those? 
Um, I, I, I was my mom put me on Medi-Cal when I was a baby. I've been I've I been on it. You been on Medi-Cal all your life? Yeah. You have? Yeah. And why did she put you on there when you were a baby? I'm not sure. And now you're 18, right? 19. 19. When you'll be 20? In June. And why don't you get off of and get a job? I have a job. You know, they just cut down some, you know, money sometimes. So the county cut down on some of the benefits they give you, but you can still work and be on the county too? Yeah, but you have to report it. When you start working, you have to tell it. Oh, I see. Yeah. And so today you got a free Obama. Is it an iPhone? No. It's a little Android, regular phone. Oh. And they just, you just walked over here and say, I want a free wait, Obama. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> There's too many. <laughs> hey. Hey, this dude is crazy. Oh. And so they you just, just, you walked, just walked over here and say, I want a free Obama. Wait, 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 wait. There's too many. <laughs> Great education and high paying jobs. You want to talk about it? Oh, really? Yeah, I can't take it, bro. Oh, really? Can't say anything. This dude in a Spider Man suit, so he talking about, do you want to talk about it? It's in that bad about it. Of uh, the Great White Hope, Donald Trump. This is Great his star. It was attacked during the primary, presidential primaries, and so it, got some, it has some cracks in it, but it is still alive and doing well. The Great White Hope. This is his star. Great right White here Hope. on Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood, California. Do you love President Trump? Brother, come on, man. This is what I'm talking about. You ask him real quick. Yes, listen, no. listen to him. Jesse about to get slapped. He about to slap shit out, buddy. Look. Uh, you ask him real quick. Yes, listen, no. listen to him. Uh, you ask him real quick. Do you love President Trump? Brother, come on, man. This is what I'm talking about. You ask him real quick. Yes, listen, no. listen to what I'm telling you, brother. All right, I'm being really clear with you. You're an older, you're an older elder, so I have to respect you. But you have to respect the younger generation and being more conscious. And real asking, quick, yes or no? no, no, no. You keep you keep taking the mic away from me. I know, but I don't have a lot of time. Well, you got plenty of time. You have to be more conscious about what you're asking. You need to be, <laughs> as a commentator, more informed about politics before you iterate, because it's the people behind the microphones that are spewing out these things that are not to be true that's amazing that's not, that's not that's true amazing. do you love white people I, I listen to what i'm telling you okay you got to be clear <laughs> about what racism is did he say mm -mm. hold on man hold on man I, I listen to what i'm telling you okay you got to be clear about what racism is are you clear and and, and profoundly understanding what racism means what, what is it Racism is a prejudice that impedes you from moving forward. So if I don't like him because he got on, because you have on a blue shirt, that's one thing. But if I don't give you a job because you have on that blue shirt, now I'm imposing my prejudice becomes racism. That so, stops you from going and getting ahead and moving forward. So when it comes to employment, the president is stopping black people from getting jobs. That's a misconception. The conception that the, what you're supposed to have in your mind is when Obama left his administration, the black unemployment rate was down to about four percent from where it was trump only made it go one percent so now it's five percent so that's because of the obama administration not because of donald trump so when they showed the black caucus when they said that unemployment went down in the black community and they showed the black caucus on television they all sat there with their arms folded looking at him like he's crazy because that's not something that happened during his administration look at buddy right here Buddy, like this man here got a word that was something that was implemented in obama's administration most blacks were not working under, Bar under Barack Obama. That is a misconception, okay? Let me show you where the fallacy comes in. The fallacy comes in because President Obama was the first president to give people money to start their own business. So a lot of people who didn't have jobs, he was giving out grants and giving people money to start their own initiative. Well, who who did that? President Obama. That's amazing. By you, what's your proof that racism exists? I don't think, I think a better question would be my proof of that racism hasn't left, I guess. I don't know. Well, what's your proof that racism still exists? He has the same I don't know. Again. I don't have, I don't really have Shoot proof. the police? Yeah, there you the go. The police. What about the police? Oh, absolutely, yeah. We're from St. Louis, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Are you visiting out here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're visiting yeah, yeah. out here. Okay. Yeah. So what's your proof? What's, what about the police? Uh, that um, basically they're sending cops that aren't you know, familiar with the cultures of other races, and they're sending those into predominantly uh, minority, you know, 
government places. And, you know, most people in, uh, in St. Louis are not, uh, they're, they're not of the majority, I would say. And so through that, I see a lot of fear in the cops handling people that they are not familiar with the, uh, the nature of their culture. And that's your proof of racism? Yeah, that would be proof of racism because that's why I believe, you know, these cops are so quick to pull the trigger and not, you know, take maybe the, the, the right path that they would have took had it not been, had it been someone who looked like them. I feel like they're more comfortable with people who look like them. And for, it's just, they're raised differently. Like a lot of uh, white families, they don't have to teach their kids to fear cops and say yes sir, no sir, no matter if you're doing something wrong or not. So I think... Just, yeah, just how like kids are brought up these days Definitely versus a black teenager sure. and a white teenager. More blacks are working on more blacks are working under President Trump. Is that oppression? More blacks are working under him, and it, it, they have a job as a result of him. Um, I mean, it's a uh, it's more of a systematic uh, oppression because um, when you look at the entire race of the uh, so-called blacks, Latinos. Uh, you look at the entire uh, population of those people, as a whole, they're doing bad. So yeah, there's a few uh, so-called African-Americans that may have a job up underneath him, but I mean, as a whole nation of people, we're doing bad. What do you think of white people, white Americans? What do, you, do you love white people? Well, I have a, I'm a Hebrew Israelite, so from the tribe of Judah, so uh, I, I hate the evil. But do you love white people? I mean, their skin color doesn't have anything to do with it, but I, I, I don't like their deeds. And um, uh, the way that they came into power was unrighteous. Do you love them, white people? No. You don't lo I love my race, my people. You do not love white people? No. And why not? Uh, because of their unrighteous deeds and their wicked ways. You love black people? I do. Are you okay with the border going up? It's with the wall going up? It's fine. I mean, if it has to go up for the reasons that people are coming this way, I mean, you have drug lords and everything else. I understand that's to protect, you know, but at the same time, there's people that's here that don't have nothing to do with that, and they're suffering. You know, they're being sent back. So you're okay with the wall. You want the wall up there. You just don't want him to deport. I don't want the wall up there. Don't put words in my mouth. You don't want the wall? You don't think? Well, let me ask this way. Do you think the wall should go up? I think that it's, everything should be fair, okay? Every, around the world, everything should be fair with everybody, you know? So should the wall go, your personal belief, should the wall go up? You're still putting me there. <laughs> he gonna ask that damn question. I don't know, because I'm not from Mexico. I mean, I saw something on the news where they had the, the wood going up and then somebody drew something and a big baby looking over. The fact that he doesn't like Mexicans, he doesn't like blacks, he says one thing and then he turns around and contradicts himself. First he puts them down and everything else like that, just like people from other countries and the Muslims and all of that. Then he comes back, he says, I didn't say that. Uh, I mean, honestly, I mean, I don't really, I ain't, I ain't too deep in the politics, so I'm gonna say too much, but I mean, I, I'm not a big fan of him, you know? Why not? I mean, it just don't seem like he, it seems like he, he not really doing a lot of what he, uh, what he's supposed to be doing. Like, he don't, he don't give me the, the, like, the impression of, like, actually knowing what a president is, what he's supposed to do. I don't really, I don't really see that type of knowledge, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't see that as somebody who I could look up to as the head of my country, you know? Do you believe the president is a racist for, not, for putting the wall up around the border? Yes. You think people should be able to just come into the country? <laughs> yes, I do. Uh, hold his eyes. <laughs> Illegally and legally. He laughed. Well, like what makes Jesse laughed at him. Coming to the country illegally? Yes, I do. Uh <laughs> who, who decides illegally and legally? What that was like funny. what makes it illegally so and illegally? is it right that people should be able to come across the border? Is that right? Yes, yes. Well he's certainly not the type of person that I would have elected as a president. And why not? Um, I don't think that he has the credibility, not if you compare him to the likes of Obama who was a well-educated man. I think Trump, at times, some of the things that he says and does um, shows that he's not very that, not, not that um, intellectual at all. Uh, we are safer mm. under him. Yeah. He's gotten rid of, you know, almost destroyed ISIS, and we are safer under the president. What do you think about that, those things? Oh, look, I, I think, you know, it's interesting hearing that side of it coming from you as, as a mm. black American. I think, you know, the perception certainly from black people in Australia was we were afraid of his outward public statements about race discrimination. 
mm. um, and wondered how that would impact black Americans and First Nations people here in, in America. So it's actually quite, quite good to hear something positive that you're saying that's come out that's benefited black people in America. Do you think it's wrong that's for right. the president to put America first? No, I do not. I do not. I mean, it's 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 what his constituents want. It's what the U.S. people want. Is it the right thing to do? In my opinion. What is she doing back here? I mean, it's it's, it's what he has to do as a U.S. president. He has no other option. But is it the right thing to do? Mm-hmm. Yeah, right or wrong is pretty much subjective on this. What yeah, do you think? My opinion. Is it the right thing to put the country first? I mean, he has to. Is it right, though? He, he really has to. Right or wrong, he, he has to put the country first. Uh, do you, I wish he would put more of, the, uh, more of the people around the world first, but he's not going to. He has to put the country first. You would want him to put people around the world before he put his own country? No, I'd like him to, I'd like him to include everybody and not exclude people. What he's doing is excluding. Is the president a racist? No, I don't believe he's a racist. I think he's just a U.S. president. Do you believe white people are racist? No, I do not. You don't, do you believe racism exists? I do believe it exists. I mean, it's, it's part of a mindset, but I believe that, I mean, it's, it's everybody is in their own points. We all hold our own prejudices. You love white people? <laughs> do I love them? No. I don't love people, period. You don't Damn. love any people? Uh, just people in general, but I do love people, yeah. Do you love white people? Uh, there's some that I do love, not all. Then why not? Uh, just... Because of overall prejudices. I wish people would just get through. I think white is more of like a state of mind rather than an actual person. I think there's a lot of the, a lot of people that on both sides that, that tend to hold a white perspective. Amazing. Thank you, man. You're welcome, I man. appreciate Pleasure that. to meet you, man. Thank you, you too, so much. Thank yeah, you. have a good one. You too. Uh, I don't know where you I mean, um, Amazing. my brother is Chazan. Um, Why is Jesse looking at him like that? You ever that? heard of somebody named Jabrizi? Jabrizi? Have you? Who? Jabrizi. My brother is, uh, trust me, go look him up. Over 34 million. Oh, okay. Our yeah. next performer is a hip hop magician, and I am way too white to make a joke here. So please up. welcome Jabrizi. You could have had Allison write her initial on there, right? Didn't have to be an X. Oh, oh, oh you yeah. How about her? Oh, uh, both of you? You can't talk either? I mean, you, you're deaf as well? Oh, okay. All right, thank you. All right, okay. So they're deaf, they can't hear. I can't do sign language. Would you date white men? Um, I'm no. I like inside my race. I'm sorry. I'm not sexually attracted to inside my race. You're not attracted to white men at all. Be cute, but I'm not. I dated. Who's Richard Smith? I don't know who that is. Oh, he's all right. Paul Walker, or Justin Bieber, though. <laughs> <laughs> so let me ask. You believe in the alt right? You know who they are? Yeah, I know the alt right. Yeah, no, of course. I'm a black man. Of course, I would never. You think they're racist? Definitely. And what's the proof about them? Oh, because a lot of their speakers say racist keep people from being out. That's what he's doing too. Damn. <laughs> what do you think about that? You got me. So basically, he just want people to do it legally. Right. Well, to do it legally, yeah, okay. I I like that then. So that's what the president is all about. Now you still think he hate black people? Now I heard about the president saying use more force with with the police, and I don't I don't I don't like that part. Only against the people who committing crimes. Don't you want your neighborhood to be safe? But they don't got to use force already. Uh, have to use a force. criminal is not going to listen unless you do force. That ain't true. No. No. I don't like that part. Like I don't like that part. All right, that was Jesse Lee Peterson. Do you love white people? This dude is funny as hell. He going in the hood and some of the places were in the hood or the ghetto that he's talking about. And he's asking, <laughs> but do you love white people? Uh, I, I like them. Okay, but do you love white people? I mean, I, uh, I mean, the, uh, the dude at the end, he completely flipped it. He was like, so at, at where you live, do you have a wall around your house? He was like, yeah. He was like, okay, well, uh, that's what he's trying to do. Why do you have a wall at your house to keep people in? Okay, then. So. What do you think about that? Um, so he just wants them to come in legally? He's like, yeah. Um, yeah, that's fine. This dude, Jesse Lee Peterson, is completely hilarious. In this space that he occupies, 
he is legendary. He is an old timer, but he funny as hell. And he have a lot of thought provoking stuff. Now the great white hope, I don't know about all that. I don't know about all that, but we know it's 2024. So it's gonna be a lot of stuff about, around Trump, man. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Should we do more of this? Shout out to Jesse Lee Peterson, super funny dude. Till next time, self-love and positivity. Fire Squad, I got you and you know it. Hey.